Hey guys, it's Moose. So first up, I just wanna say thank you so much for all of your support and kind comments. Uh, it's really encouraging me to do more videos to help you guys out. Uh, and today, at the request of many of you, I'm going to show you exactly how to edit the photo that I showed you in my photo story that I did last week. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out first. Ah, the light's changing. It's getting all bright. I'm, get, I'm looking like an angel right now. <laughs> I had this all set up perfectly and then the sun just kind of popped out. All right, so back on track. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to edit the landscape photo that I took right after sunset. I showed it to you really quickly in that last video, just kind of a before and after. So today I'm gonna show you the little things that you can do to really make your landscape images pop. So I'm gonna go jump on the computer now, see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are at my computer and I have Adobe Lightroom ready to go. Now you can use any editing program that you're comfortable with. A lot of the things that I'll talk about are pretty universal across a lot of editing programs. So you can kind of take the same concepts and apply it to your own edits. For me, I personally prefer Adobe Lightroom, whether you're a beginner or maybe you're even considering turning your hobby into a business. Adobe Lightroom is great, not only for organizing, but also for editing your images. So definitely, definitely recommend it. Okay, so here we have the original unedited uh, nighttime lake shot that I showed you in that photo story from last week. So let's go ahead and apply some edits. Now over here, uh, this is called the develop module. And on the right hand side, we have a bunch of little uh, sliders and things that we can do to uh, boost and make our image a little bit more vivid and, and get it to pop. The first thing I like to do is I like to crop the image first. I want to make sure that I get the right crop and get everything nice and straight before I do anything else. So I'm going to do that here. And these little sort of transparent lines kind of help you line everything up and get it all nice and straight and uh, cropped correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, before I make any exposure or uh, contrast or color adjustments, I also want to get rid of any spots or distracting elements. So I'm going to get rid of these branches here on the left and over here on the right. And then there's this little light here in the distance. And there's also this little bird or something in the sky uh, that's kind of distracting. So let's get rid of that. We can do that with this spot removal tool. And all I have to do is make the brush size big enough to sort of cover that area. And the program automatically selects an area to sort of mask out those distracting elements. So that looks really good. Let's do that again over here. Great. That looks good. And we're going to zoom in here and get rid of some of these other distracting lights. Great. And then there's this little bird or something here in the sky that I also want to get rid of. Okay, good. That looks great. All right, so now we're ready to make some exposure and color changes to our photo. First thing I like to do is adjust the exposure. And in this case, it looks a little dark. So I'm going to increase the exposure a little bit just to bring everything up. Next, we'll jump to contrast and just add a little punch of contrast especially for landscapes, contrast is great. Uh, we just want to really get everything to pop and look real vibrant. Next, I'll come down to highlights, and highlights is probably one of my favorite sliders because it allows you to take the, the brightest parts of your image and allow you to sort of save them. So if, if you go over here to the right, it makes the highlights really bright. And if you go over here to the left, it makes the highlights really dark. So I kind of like to stay uh, right around like negative 20, negative 30 to sort of save a lot of those highlights in the sky. It brings out a little bit more cloud detail. All right, next you have the shadow slider. I'm not gonna actually use that in this image because I actually want my shadows to be nice, dark, and you know, sort of inky black. So to do that, I'm actually gonna come down here to the black slider, and I'm gonna darken that a bit because I want these branches to be nice and dark and inky. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now in doing that, it actually made the lake a little too dark. So I'm gonna take this adjustment brush 
and I'm going to paint just over the lake here. Okay, now you'll see that it, nothing's really happened just yet. Uh, what I've done is I've selected an area that I want to adjust. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take the highlight slider and I'm actually going to increase the highlights. And you can see there it's bringing up the highlights in the lake. I'm going to bring that up a little bit and I'm just going to paint it a little bit more. That's looking pretty good. So that just increases sort of the, the contrast between the branches and the lake. And that's looking really good. Okay, so I'm going to save that. I'm going to jump down here to the presence area. I'm going to increase the clarity so that we get a little bit more uh, detail here out of the sky. I'm going to push that to about maybe plus 26. And then I'm going to take this vibrant slider. I'm going to increase that. Same thing with contrast. Let's boost that up just a little bit. And you don't want it to go too crazy on saturation. It can really make the colors go crazy. So um, I usually want to stay around positive 10 or lower whenever I play with saturation. Okay, so things are looking really, really good here. What I want to do also is maybe bring up the yellows and oranges a bit. And to do that, we drop down to the saturation panel, grab this little tool, put it inside your image, click and drag up on the color that you want to affect. And here you can see it's increased the saturation for both yellow and orange, and just kind of adds a little extra punch of color there on the horizon, which I think is great. Okay, so let's finish up this image with a nice vignette. Now vignette basically darkens the edges of the photo. So I'm gonna grab this slider, I'm gonna bring it inwards, maybe to negative 10, that, that looks pretty good. And there you have it. This is sort of the final edited version. And let me show you a side by side. So over here we have the original uh, that was not cropped and it had these branches kind of coming in from the left and from the right. And then over here we have the final edited version. And uh, I quite like the way this looks. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please do like and comment the video below, letting me if you enjoyed it too. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great week. Happy shooting.